Bedtime Stories A first book of fairy tales Stories retold by Mary Hoffman Illustrated by Julie Downing Cinderella Once upon a time, there was a nobleman who had a sweet wife and daughter. But his wife died, and his second one was horrid. She had two daughters, whose bad tempers had given them ugly faces. They were mean to their stepsister, Ella. She had to sweep the cinders from the grates. So they called her Cinderella. One day, the king's son sent out invitations to a grand ball at the palace. The ugly sisters spent ages deciding what to wear and Cinderella had to help them get dressed and brush their hair. There was no question of Cinderella going to the ball in her rags. When the ugly sisters had left for the ball, Cinderella burst into tears. How I wish I could go too, she cried. Suddenly, her fairy godmother appeared. Don't cry, child, she said. Of course you can go to the ball, but first we'll need a few bits and pieces. Get me one pumpkin, six little mice, one large rat, and six lizards. Well, Cinderella couldn't think how a pumpkin and some animals were going to get her to the ball, but she did as her godmother asked. Her fairy godmother waved her wand and whoosh! The pumpkin disappeared and in its place stood a beautiful coach. Then she waved her wand again. The six little mice turned into a team of handsome carriage horses. The rat was soon a rather fat coachman, and the lizards became six footmen. So now, Cinderella had a lovely coach to take her to the ball, but she was still in her rags. Her godmother smiled and tapped her once with her wand. Immediately, Cinderella was dressed in shimmering gold. Now, off you go, said her godmother. But remember, at midnight, everything will go back to the way it was, so you must be home before then, Cinderella promised. Then stepped into her beautiful coach. The six white horses set off toward the king's palace. Everyone at the ball stopped dancing when the mysterious stranger arrived. Cinderella looked so beautiful in her gold dress that everyone thought she was a princess from a foreign country. Even her two stepsisters were fooled. The prince was just as curious as everyone else. From the moment Cinderella came into the ballroom, he danced with no one else. By the end of the evening, he was madly in love with his beautiful princess, and he didn't even know her name. And Cinderella was just as much in love with the prince. But as they were dancing, Cinderella suddenly heard the chimes of the palace clock. Oh no! she cried. It must be midnight! Cinderella ran away from the prince, out of the ballroom, and down the palace steps, losing one of her glass slippers along the way. By the time she reached the bottom step, the clock had finished, striking twelve, and Cinderella was in rags again. The prince ran after Cinderella, but all he found was the beautiful glass slipper from the steps. Send out a proclamation, he said. I will marry the person whose foot fits this slipper. We'll ask every woman in the kingdom to try on the slipper. So the prince went to every house in the kingdom, and soon he came to the house where Cinderella lived with her stepsisters. Of course, the ugly sisters were very eager to try their luck. But no matter how hard they pushed their big feet into the glass slipper, it didn't fit. So Cinderella came forward to try on the slipper. To the amazement of her stepsisters, it fitted perfectly. 
the prince looked up at Cinderella's face and recognized the beautiful princess he had danced with at the ball. So he married Cinderella. And unlike the stepsisters, they lived happily ever after. A First Book of Fairy Tales Stories retold by Mary Hoffman Illustrated by Julie Downing Cinderella 